Hey, what's up guys? My name is Rigid Body, and today we're doing tutorial number 21, bonus hole. How to scroll texture. Very easy. Pause, read the brief if you like, and let's flip flop over to it real quick. The first thing we need to do, if you haven't already, make a uh, textures folder and add your texture. I made a rock texture. Pretty bad. Made in Photoshop like a boss. And then we're going to go ahead and uh, enter your scripts folder and make a new script. Crip Sharp. And call it scroll. Mmm. Mmm. Open it up. And fast is the way. Okay? Mmm. And we're going to be using that today. And we're also going to use two variables. One is going to be float speed. We need public float. And uh, we'll call it scroll speed because that makes sense. And it's equal to um, whatever you want. 0.5F is, is the place to start. Get used to using F since we're using C sharp. And then we're going to need a, because um, you need to use it on anything with a decimal. And then go ahead and put public render in. It's ridiculous, I know. And I like to call it underscore render. Copy and paste to save three seconds. And that's going to be equal to get component what? Mm-hmm. You guessed it. Render. Hard part's done, guys. Now we're just going to do an update function because it needs to move, right? We're going to scroll up. So we need a float. We'll call it V offset or whatever you want. And that's going to be equal to time dot time times our scroll speed. Not mm. Speed. Time speed. Speed. And then let's actually move it. And we'll say, hey, render. Um, can you get the material? And then look at the beautiful stuff right here. Set texture offset. Looks like that's gonna be a winner. And it's very important this part. It takes a string, but you have to call uh, the properties main text. So you have to call main text right there. If you don't, it won't work. And you can see the second argument is gonna be your vector two. And we're gonna go along the uh, vertical offset and full x foot y. So it'll be the y. What the heck are you talking about right there? That just, just popped up out of Magic Kingdom. And there you go. So that was probably the hardest part ever. So don't forget to click and drag it onto your cube or whatever you're going to use it. Are we getting that cube yet? And you see I just made it pubic right here just so you can see it when you hit play. And it'll call it random. Let's scroll down through real quick. See. So it has that. But we need to go to our textures and add it real quick. And if the uni gods are kind, it should work. <laughs> Coolio, that's sick. That's pretty sick, though. I mean, look at the magic you can do. That. You can put a question mark. There, nobody did that. Nobody did that. Only question mark in that one game that nobody knows about. Anyways, that's it, guys. It's really that easy. Have fun with it. Play with it. Um, like and subscribe. We're on the road to 3,000 subs. If we get there by 2049, that'd be sick. So, anyway, guys, I'll catch you next time and happy coding.